Hi everyone, it's Jan with What You Make It and I am here to share a fun idea for something that you could do as a gift for either a scrapbooking or a non-scrapbooking friend. Um, this is a mini that I created for a friend of mine who is a scrapbooker, but she also has three small children, so her um, time to get to spend on scrapping is pretty limited. And this was something I wanted to do for her. And I know that as a mom, she's always going to be working on projects for her kids. I want to share this with you. It is a, this is four and a half by six inches tall, four and a half inches wide by six inches tall. And obviously I've used the Baroque die here on the front. And the mini Baroque, which I created a frame, did some, um, did some embossing here and used some Distress Stickles Rock Candy. So it kind of made it all glittery and shimmery, um, but left it open so that she could put a picture down in here. On the flower here, I also did some Rock Candy Distress Crackle on the flower and added a little white acrylic paint. This, I am so excited to get to put this on here. I found this at an estate sale several years ago. It is an old brooch that is um, a flamingo and it had all those you know little rhinestones in it. So let me tell you, show you this um, in detail. The covers are, as I said, four and a half by six, which allowed me to use six by six papers. But the other thing, the inside pages, these in here, are four by six. And my, here's my thinking on that. This is why this would be a great gift for either a non-scrapbooker or somebody that doesn't have a lot of time to put their pictures um, from a, a particular All of these pages are four by six. So my intention, now these are not pictures of her, I just grabbed two four by six pictures. But if you were to put them back to back, tape them, put them back to back, and then punch your holes in them, your pictures can go inside the mini album, never have to, you know, make picture mats for photo mats or whatever. They can just go in and it can be a combination of a photo album and then all of the pages become the journaling places and they're already decorated and all the person has to do is put their pictures in there and I'm going to give her this template so that she can, all she has to do is put that down, mark where her holes go, punch it and put her pictures in and then as she has time she can go back and journal. So I used the canvas sticker pack on this. This one says a vacation is having nothing to do and all day to do it in. So kind of fun, made a nice little decorative edge with my punch, journaling, did a little stamping. But again, if you remember that her pictures are going to be in between, I'm just creating places for her to now do her journaling. This was a, um, I just made an acetate uh, page here for using, some, again, some of the papers, put a nice little edge on it with, with Tim Holtz, um, the zigzag or small scallop on the edge die. Here's another, another page. Again, her pictures will be here, and I'm just giving her some space to do some journaling. I die cut with a Spellbinders die the, the paper, and then added some glossy accents down here in the corner to make the little that ship look like it's all shiny. Took some um, tags, and I love that Webster's Pages makes these journaling card sets that go along with the, with the various collections, because then you're, you have either titles for a scrapbook page or great, easy, simple way to make tags for journaling spots. So there's that. These pages are exactly four by six. Only the covers are a half inch wider. I did those four and a half by six so that um, there was room for me to close it and tie it with, without there being um, a lot of of excess. So 
here's another fun way to use six by six pages, particularly on this four by six format. This actually is just one of the papers and you'll see it, it's reflected over here. So I took the exact same paper on and put them opposite of each other and then scored at the four inch mark leaving two inches over here that becomes a flap. See how that is? So this is the back side of this paper and here's that back side that now is, is the front. I love working with um, papers that are this well designed. This already had some journaling area on it and I took one of the tags that said um, today is and I turned it into just a little um, center element there to make that fun. More journaling here, another tag using one of the Webster Pages journaling journaling cards. Very fun. Use some acetate and um, did some uh, starburst stain over this this was cream colored ribbon and or trim and colored it and then put it onto the acetate and made a pocket. I used the fabric um, trim or fabric ribbon that that comes with each of the sets and this this is really cute. Let's let you see this. It has all the seahorses and everything. Beautiful trim. Again, working with a collection like this, it took no time at all to, to make what is a really fun gift. I also used the fabric ribbon from that collection to make a little flower here. I put some lace behind it, just gathered it along the edge, and put one of the sparkler buttons in the center. Again, because I'm cutting the papers down, each page, I ended up with two inch strips that I didn't, where I didn't fold it like I had done on this page. I ended up with two inch strips, so I used those um, scraps to create some of my tags to go in here. Again, her pictures will be here. She can do some journaling, journaling right here. And then this one was kind of fun. I wanted to do a faux um, envelope. And what this is, is I did some embossing and then created a pocket out of it just by tucking the edges in. Here's the, um, what it looks like. It looks like a little envelope. But you pull it out and you have an extended journaling area. And I mean, are these not just the sweetest, sweetest little details? They have um, these resin um, ornaments, and this is one of the birds. But I made some journaling, cut out this element, and put that on here. Again, super simple, but it makes a really nice little a little hidden page for some hidden journal. And this is the last page and I'm actually going to come back here when we're done and I'm going to do a tutorial because I love this. I'm going to use the same technique to make a card cover so I want, I want to show you how I did that. But again it was just using the same Baroque die that I used on the front and then did some stamping here in the center and Jenny Boland stick right here and some flowers. So again, really simple four by six album that allows whoever you give it to, all they have to do is just put their pictures back to back and they are ready to go. So I'm excited about getting to give this to her and I wanted to share it with you because you could do this with so many things. End of school year pictures, a, um, a vacation or a bridal shower gift would be great because again you just put the journaling in there and then they could put their their pictures back to back so I'm going to come back and show you how we did this it's fun so hang on you want to start with the size of the the end piece that you want I am making a six by six card so I'm going to use the entire piece of paper for this and I have my chipboard cut. This also is from that triple pack 
and I'm using something from the Garden Gala or Gala. All I'm doing is making sure that the cardboard or the chipboard um, hangs over the sides of the die an equal amount and that will ensure that my die cut is in the center. Okay, so I've added the paper because they went through the die cut, the Sizzix machine together, they're exactly the right, um, they're an exact match. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm, this actually is a fairly important step. You want to be sure and sufficiently darken the edges of your inside frame. Um, even if you don't normally do a lot of distressing, I would suggest that you do a little bit of this because it helps that back piece um, pop a little Just bit. Align it with your card and put it down. And that would be pretty just by itself, but I really want to do this element because you see it, the, the pattern continues on into it and it just, with it basically debossed rather than embossed, I'm going to put some glue down here and because again they were cut at the same time you can get the paper to go down in. Now I use my little paper piercer to work it down. You want to work it right down into that edge all the way around. The key to this really having a sharp look to it is taking your time to get those all those little corners and edges down in. And when you do that you end up with this really cool debossed looking project. And I'm going to do some stamping in the center. The thing that I did on the mini album, you'll see, is that I added some of the Distress Crackle Paint in rock, clear rock candy. And that, that also darkens that edge just a little bit and gives this a really nice vintagey old feel to it. So I'll do that for this card as well. Hope you enjoyed this project. I appreciate you stopping by and I hope you save some time this week for creative play. I'll be back to see you real soon. Bye.